Hey guys, Tyrant here bringing you some OCF coverage. This one is from uh, round one of the main event between Vindicare X and Symbiosis. I was speaking to Festive Longjohns yesterday and he said that this coverage wasn't, wasn't going to make it onto YouTube so I figured I'd do a bit of back casting. Casting of my, my own to make sure that this really, I mean, historic event ends up getting its dues and uh, all the games do end up on YouTube so I figured I'd cast a few of the games that oh look at this that voice crack a few of the games that they missed that day not missed but covered that day that I'm not going to be uploaded to YouTube so that it's all on record if anybody wants to check the history banks So we see that Vindicare has straight away locked in uh, Armored Assault. I know that Paul is very, very fond of this doctrine. He's been using it quite a lot. And uh, it's very good to lock this in immediately because then you get access to the radio intercept. So you kind of know what your opponent's up to. Good to get that extra intelligence. Try and uh, make some counterplay options. So uh, not much in the way of engagements going on so far. Everybody's just capping up. A slightly unusual capping order from Vindicare. He actually came and capped these two points here and then capped his cutoff. Making use of that uh, that spawn here in the north. As you can see, there are two spawns. This is the more common one on the right-hand side, but Vindicare's using that more northern spawn point and this is good to see from symbiosis he's keeping his MG mobile sometimes as Ostia it is tempting to just like set, set and forget your MG but to really get the most value out of it you have to keep moving around keep keep suppressing squads just uh, covering your flank or some some point somewhere is not always the best use of your machine gun and see that that's where the best players really get the most value out of the MGs they keep them mobile as we see here forcing back those conscripts common engineers set up here behind the heavy cover trying to prevent any plays on who's cut off we see two common engineers here this is the second one coming out rather late and uh now he's transitioning into a mortar. So this is a very unusual build. Three conscripts, two communities, and a mortar. But I guess he wants to counter that machine gun. In fact, that's it's going to work out brilliantly for him because now Symbiosis is investing into a second machine gun. Very rare you see these two MGs these days. Well, it's quite popular for a, for a while, especially two v twos, but. They are a bit more expensive now, so I think that's part of the reason why you don't see them quite as much. Slight manpower cost increase. Engagement over here. Contrips should win this one, sitting behind heavy cover, but you never know. Nice aggressive cutoff play here from Symbiosis. He's really getting up close and personal on Vindicare's cutoff, and this Northern Spawn does have the trickier cutter for sure. Much easier to access this one than this one, which is, you know, it's kind of surrounded by this garrison here and it's got a lot of shot blockers, makes it hard for your, your troops to get in there. Cross troops are indeed pulling ahead in this engagement, those communities will have to retreat shortly, but there's an MG actually going all the way around the site to set up on that fuel because he, he senses that he's going to lose this position here, he's under mortar fire. And Vindicare is pushing out with all sorts of troops. I'm just attempting a soft retreat here, but conscripts are hot in their tail. Oh, Mortar inflicts a bit of friendly fire there on those cons. This is nice from Vindicare. He's doing the back capping with that very low health squad. 
leaving his uh, frontline combat units to continue the chase on that MG, which ultimately is forced to retreat. Did that? Yeah, the Grand Air. Did that die? No, surely must this this must be it here. That's almost completely reinforced. So we see Symbiosis has gone for an early med bunk, which is a good idea because this squad here and this squad here are quite low, and he's going to lose a lot of manpower if he sends them out on that amount of health. So early bunker is a good play here. He's actually leaving those squads out of combat. Interesting choice here. Symbiosis was putting down his tech structure, but just cancelled it. I wonder, what does he have in this loadout? He's got spearhead. I don't think he'll be going for a mortar half track. Could be thinking mobile defense, I suppose. And of course, mechanized assault, which has been seeing quite a lot of use. A lot of people going double Strug E. Of course, the Tiger is very strong in the late game. Especially a bit stronger now that it has 45 range straight away instead of 40. That extra extra 5 range really, really makes a bit of difference. MG Brindy is having to go 2v1 versus Conscripts. I think Conscripts will end up winning this one. It's a rather late sniper here from Symbiosis. But snipers do extremely well on Langris Gaia. Nice open fields for them to pick away at, not that many shot blockers. And typically Langris Gaia games, even with the new VP placements, do tend to run on quite long compared to some other maps. So your sniper has plenty of time to rack up a monstrous kill count. So Sniper does end up forcing those concerts to retreat, combined with those green deers. But still Vindicare, despite getting off to a pretty slow start, you know, losing his cutter for a large portion of the early game, has now uh, cut Symbiosis off from his fuel for a large portion of the game. So, the, you know, he's kind of leveling the playing fields into this early mortar. I mean, I thought it was a mistake, but against the double MG build of Symbiosis, it's really come in handy. Maybe. Vindicare was aware that Symbiosis typically goes to MGs. I'm not sure, he's, but he just seems to have perfectly counterpicked that. Looks like LNG Greens are going to run into this mine here while they attempt to go for this cutoff, but I think it's only going to take down one or two models. Yeah, just one. They're quite spread out there to the left. So it didn't end up really doing that much damage. And this is a lot of MG42 fire raining down on these conscripts. Two LNGs and one weapon team. Another MG42 here pumping away at this combat engineering squad. Once again, Symbiosis going for the cutoff. Oh, I mean, going for the fuel and going for the cutoff simultaneously. But there's a Maxim over there. They quickly suppress that squad, and uh, once they neutralize that point, they end up. Packing up and heading home. Wonder where the sniper's gonna go. Sniper's running down the middle. I thought he may go to the flank, try and deal with that Maxim. Instead, he's gonna join in on the fight for the cutoff. And this Mortar's doing pretty good, pretty good damage. Not getting that many kills. He's up forcing that Grandia squad to retreat though. Certainly applying a lot of pressure to these MG42 weapon teams as well. So Symbiosis has now completed his tech structure and he's going for a pack, perhaps expecting some kind of light vehicle, maybe a quad mount or a T-70, which is uh, pretty typical for Soviets at this point in the game to start making. As we see, now that Vindicare has put down his tech structure, he's got a lot of fuel in the bank. I will be surprised if he goes for the quad, probably T-70 is a better choice at this point. Conscripts out here in the open. Somehow managed to cap that point. I mean, there was one Grenadier model standing in there, but somehow it wasn't registering, and Conscripts managed to cap that point before being forced to retreat. Sniper was working its way over there as well. 
and he can afford to send a sniper out this way because the MG42 is covering this this flank so no squads are coming down there to get a flank on that sniper. Maxim sets up in the garrison forces this MG42 to reposition. Telemine down here, very very nice spot for a Telemine. T70 comes roaring down this road trying to, trying to knock out the snipers, probably his number one target. Maybe in for a nasty surprise. Double LMG greens, more than a match for those conscripts. And I imagine that Vindicare is going to lose control of his fuel once more. Despite having put down his tech structure. Oh, he hasn't completed his tech structure. It's like 99% complete. He just needs like one more one more whack of the hammer before he can complete that. And that's really hurt him because he lost his... Oh, I think he lost one of his combat engineering squads. And the other one's out on uh, combat duties with this flamethrower. So that's really set him back a long way right now he should have a t70 but because he just 99 percent completed that structure it's really going to delay his t70 it's going to come onto the field very late that would have been extremely important at repelling these two lmg grenadiers here on the right and putting some pressure on the sniper oh sniper's getting close to that mine though and there are quite a few mines so that is one thing that that Vindicare has been doing extremely well getting down mines all over the show not opting for demo charges which I probably use a bit more than mines we are losing a sector. I like those guaranteed wipes but they are riskier they do cost you more if they do end up getting swept but that is not really on the field at the moment not a chance because oh is this concert squad going to go down yes Inattentiveness there from Vindicare ends up losing on his concert squad, so he's down two squads now. And as far as I'm aware, Symbiosis hasn't lost anything. But back to what I was saying, uh, because he's a flamethrower pioneer squad, we don't actually have any sweepers at the moment, so Symbiosis is very vulnerable to the mines. Maxim trying to push up here, trying to regather that fuel. Unsuccessful though, Sniper and LNG Green did more than a match. And actually that's the second Maxim from Vindicare. And he's put down his tech structure. Oh, no, he still hasn't completed this. What is going on here? What is is this bugged out or something? What what infernal sorcery is this? Cover engineers getting sniped. Maxim is having some success though pushing out there and Vindicare is applying pressure to his opponent's fuel in return. Doesn't have Molotovs though. Molotovs seem to be quite popular this patch so he's not going to have any luck unseating those grandies from that garrison. There is an MG42 set up here as well. Oh but that's getting bombed on by the mortar which is actually probably in range of this. Yes this MG42 and the sniper just blasting that mortar Oh, but the sniper misses, and that's going to get away. MG42 is getting very low. It's on four men still. Doesn't want to bleed any manpower from that, so he's going to retreat that nice and early. Get that back for some healing. Doesn't want to lose that bit. That's up to vet two now. That's been putting in some hard yards. Vindic is floating up quite a lot right now. He is finally going to put down his tech structure. He's going to get that last whack at the hammer. There's only a one-man squad as well. And he's going to lose a lot of map control right now. Pretty much all of his units are in his base, reinforcing and healing. He has managed to regather control of his own fuel, though, with that Maxim. And he's just got both of his Maxims here protecting his side of the map. Conscripts are returned to the front lines on just about full health. He's actually going to reinforce off this board tech structure, which is nice. That's what you can do as Ostia or Soviet Union. You can reinforce off your tech structures in your own base sector. So sometimes it's nice to put them out on the edge of your base sector. So you can reinforce as you're running out to the front lines. Nice and sharply done there by Vindicare. 
we see the same thing from Symbiosis as he can leave his t uh, base from this side. Get that reinforcement going on. So MG42 sitting up in the garrison taking a bit of a licking from this Maxim while it does so. But he's got the incendiary rounds equipped now and that's shredding that Maxim. Look at that thing go. It's very rapidly pinned. It's taking a hell of a lot of damage. Managed to get cleared. He's very late to react. He's picking it up. Oh, the gunner dies. Oh, the gunner dies again. And that's going to die. Down goes the Maxim, but that's in a pretty pretty safe spot under the watch of this other Maxim. And that is a Panzer IV. But Vindicare has put up his uh, final tech structure, so he's going to be bringing out a T-3485 very shortly. T-3485 is uh, slightly better than the Panzer IV if they go mano y mano. But once the P-4 starts to vet up, then it uh, starts to level the playing field. Well, a vetted P4 versus a uh, stock T3485 is a pretty fair fight. It's got to be careful with this P4, though there are a few mines around. Oh, but <laughs> P4 gets lucky there. Bouncing shots with that 85, and both of those shots penetrating the 85. That's actually not that common to see. A big push out here from Vindicare, trying to regain the control of his cutoff once more. His in his uh, mortars in the firing line there takes a rifle grenade getting very low sniper takes a shot from the 85 but it misses and uh, looks like Vindicare is going to be pushed back into his base a bit, bit of repairs on his T-3485 he doesn't have that much fuel he can't afford another 85 so this is a uh, slightly better fuel situation right now I can get another Get another P4 sooner, or he may indeed just be saving up for the Tiger, having selected Spearhead. Sniper working on this Maxim, that's going to go down shortly. T-34-85 firing at the P4, just cannot land a shot on that thing right now. He's missed and he's bounced, he's, he's not having any luck. Oh my god, these mines though, these mines. He needs to get a sweep on this squad. I mean, you got to expect that this will be a prime location for a demo charger on mine. Should be his number one priority. Sending those on to those uh, far offs capture sectors. So that's a Zis gun here. But we do have a pack set up in kind. Sniper reveals itself firing upon this tank. Got to be careful. Conscripts pushing out for the cutoff once more. T-3485 sitting behind this shot blocker here, so it cannot be fired upon by the Zis. Zis sets up. Gets one shot off on the P-4. Second shot hits the dirt. Maxim pushing up. Suppresses that green squad. Ends up pinning it. Pack repositions getting around to this side of the shot blocker. Making that T-3485 pull back. Oh, it's a machine gun fight. Maxim vs MG-42. Maxim looks like it's going to complete the cap at the very least. This gun continues to hit the ground here. This, you got to be careful with those elevation changes. It can make it very hard for projectiles to land on their intended targets. Where did that pack reposition to? Pack reposition back here, but may find a line. No, T-3485 is playing it very cautiously, sitting behind this garrison that's really been his saving grace for this push out, out of his base once more. There's a talent mine down here though, and that could be a disaster if that T-3485 runs over that mine. Looks like Vindicare is going to try to break his containment moving across the right, I mean the left hand side of the map. Sensing that there's a vulnerability on that side. 
We do see a sweeper squad, but they're over here. I don't think they've spotted that Talamine yet. T-3485 looks like it's primed to run over there. It's right, just sitting right in front of it. Packers are in this position. Ooh. Here comes the sweeper, and I think they've spotted that now. Kind of hard to tell because it's sitting on that crater. mg 42 is in a lot of trouble, takes a nasty shot there from the 85, it's gonna get away though. Sniper works on that Maxim on the flank, forcing that to retreat. Two Grenadiers also reacting to that harassment on his fuel. Maxim having a lot of trouble, it's mg 42 squad putting more and more pressure on Vindicare's cutoff, I mean Vindic has really had so much trouble holding on to his cutoff. This cutoff is so hard to hold on to. But he uh yeah, I mean Symbosis is getting very close to the tiger and that may be the GG once that tiger comes out. Just needs another command point or so. Vindic does have enough munitions saved up for this, but this uh, Sturmvik strafe is nothing compared to the, the uh, Stuka close air support strafe or loiter. It's, it's probably like Stuka loiter is probably about three times stronger. It's kind of absurd or pretty much the exact same cost. But that's how it goes. And that Telemai still hasn't been swept. And did that. Was this a squad on that? Looks like it looks like there's a combat engineering squad. Oh, but the Sturmvik's coming. And uh, clear this MG42. Maxim's pushing up, applying pressure to the Zis. T3485 is moving back onto this flank, but did not sweep this Telemine. He spotted it, but I don't know if he swept it. Looks like he is kind of aware of it. Trying to play around that. Gotta be careful though, a stray shot could land on that Telemine and it does, clears it out. Servants continue to circle around the battlefield, but here comes the Tiger losing that. MT42 was the catalyst to get the extra command points, and here comes the Tiger. Maxim is uh, quick to beat a retreat. Oh, but the P4's in a bit of trouble here. He's taken a couple of Zis shots. But Sturmvik fire now. Is Pack though. Pack set up in a nice spot there. It looks like it, it in turn applied quite a few shots to that 85. And Vindicare, I mean, he's had such, such, such terrible fuel control this game. Hasn't even been able to field himself another T3485. Oh, and what was that that went down there? I think it was a conscript squad. Looks like it was combat engineer. No, conscripts. So that's a... No, that's a reinforced this gun. <laughs> Bounces one shot, misses the second. So it pulls back to a safer distance. Sniper continues to work on the advancing troops. It's up to 36 kills now. It's certainly done its job. P4 returning to frontline combat on very low health, but under no real threat. Unless he ran over one of these. No, it looks like that mine over here did get swept. This gun does get one shot through the tiger's tough frontal armor. That's a T-34 under construction 80 of the 85 variety for Vindicare. Oh, that's a stolen MG-42. In fact, I thought that was a Maxim. So three MGs from Vindicare. That's kind of a sitting duck for the sniper, honestly. But got to play the hand you're dealt, I suppose. T3485 getting some good licks in on this Grandia squad. They're taking a bit of damage trying to cap that VP. Constructs and a Maxim pushing out here. 
Tag rotates. So we've got the two 85s now. It looks like they're gearing up for a push onto the Tiger. Pack misses the shot. Oh, misses two shots, in fact. And here go the 85s. are going in deep on the Tiger. Tiger's a bit late to react. If they can get round to his rear armor, they've got a good chance of knocking it out here. Tiger's trying to keep his frontal armor facing towards the T-34 85s. They stop for a second here. Perhaps microing somewhere else. And this one's getting very low. They are penetrating the frontal armor quite effectively, though. Here comes a ram. Oh, he knocks out the engine as well, penetrates the frontal armor of the Tiger. Tiger's backed itself into a corner here. So it's basically a one out right here. 85 versus Tiger. Oh, and he penetrates the frontal armor again. This, these T-34 85s have had really just excellent luck penetrating the frontal armor of that Tiger time and time again. P4 is coming in for some revenge. Fails to penetrate that shot. And uh, T-3485 misses that shot. Now, now there's a Zisk gun protecting its well, retreat path and uh, looks like looks like Vindicare will live to fight another day. Sniper continues to work its magic up to 47 kills now. I guess during that tank engagement this sniper was just tearing everything up. Just sniping left and right. And uh, if we look at army so you see Symbiosis is still firmly in the lead despite losing his Tiger. Probably going to save up for another Tiger. He's got a lot of manpower on the bank as well. Also we see Vindicus down to just 85 VPs. His map control has been terrible all game. Just uh, really had a rough, rough start to this match. Losing control of his uh, cutoff for so long, he hasn't been able to grind his way back into the game since then. Oh, P4 runs straight into this 85 and this combo. A5 sensing an opportunity, wants to go deep, but does not want to risk it. Doesn't want to take a couple of Fausts and get followed up on, up on by that pack, which was in a prime position. In fact, could probably pop the target weak point on it. And now uh, finish the job. So ultimately a good choice there from Vindicare. But what is he doing? He's just sitting here. He's not even firing at stuff. He's taking engine damage now. Pack is trying to pump away. There we go. One shot penetrates there. Mortar looks like it's being cleared. Probably needs a Zis Barrage right about now. Nope. Zis gets cleared by those... Double LMG Grenadiers, and I think that's probably going to be game. He's pushed all the way back into his base. Only 28 VPs remaining. And there we go. GG. Symbiosis takes game one. As Axis.